Amen. The Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the second mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You, you have came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ezra. At the time of the evening sacrifice, I, Ezra, rose in my wreckedness, and with cloak and mantle, torn I fell on my knees, stretching out my hands to the Lord my God. I said, My God, I am too ashamed and confounded to raise my face to you. O oh my God, for our wicked deeds are heaped up above our heads, and our guilt reaches up to heaven. From the time of our fathers, even to this day, great has been our guilt, and for our wicked deeds, we have been delivered up. We and our kings and our priests to the will of the kings of foreign lands, to the sword, to captivity, to pillage, and to disgrace, as in the case today. And now, but a short time ago, mercy came to us from the Lord our God, who left us a remnant and gave us a stake in his holy place. Thus our God has brightened our eyes and given us relief in our servitude. For slaves we are, but in our servitude our God has not abandoned us. Rather, he has turned the goodwill of the kings of Persia toward us. Thus he has given us new life to raise again the house of our God and restore its ruins and has granted us a fence in Judah and Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be God who lives forever. Blessed be God who lives forever. He scourges and then has mercy. He cuts down to the depths of the nether world, and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Blessed be God who lives forever. Praise him, you children of Israel. Before the Gentiles, for though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Blessed be God who lives forever. So now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of ages. Blessed be God who lives forever. In the land of my exile, I praise him. 
and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Blessed be God who lives forever. Bless the Lord, all you his chosen ones. And may all of you praise his majesty, celebrate days of gladness, and give him praise. Blessed be God who lives forever. Please rise and let us all listen to the Holy Gospel. kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, Take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there, and leave from there. And as you and as for those who do not welcome you when you leave the town, Shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. Then they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I remember very well that the text that we have read I the same text that uh, Francis heard uh, of uh, St. Francis of Assisi heard when he was searching for the way of life uh, in the uh, process of his conversion yung unang mga bagay that a shape ng kanyang uh, vocation ay ang mga lepers. At the second is this, the gospel, when he was trying to search for what the Lord is telling him to do. And one day, he heard this gospel, the sending of the, the, the twelve apostles, the missionary discourse of Jesus. And today the gospel is the version of Luke in the missionary discourse. You have also in Mark and you have in Matthew. In fact, um, coincidences with Mark and Matthew is in this first transmission of authority, task and power of Christ to his apostles are very evident. The norms that Jesus gives to his apostle refer to the content of the mission and message and its signs. The message will be accompanied by signs and the preaching of the word accompanied by the healing. So preach 
and heal. Not only we not for the but for the soul, but also for the body. Here he touches both soul and body, physical and spiritual aspect. And the second is the attitude adequate to exercise it. You adequate is you must rely on the power of God. You don't bring anything. Dahil pag meron kang mga paraphernalia, meron kang mga instrument, powerpoint, lahat yun, ay maaaring sabihin mo, ay dahil sa iyo, dahil sa iyong uh, ah, talento, that you are in a way succeeding in preaching the word of God. Jesus does not want that. Jesus wants simply to rely on the power of God. And that is why the messenger must be in total availability, in total poverty. He cannot in a way boast of anything. And so therefore, he must priest in total dependence on God. Sisters and brothers, the gospel shows us that it is clear that the power and the authority given by Jesus to the twelve are to be exercised on the condition of absolute detachment that leads to complete reliance on God. You preach to total reliance to God. You don't rely on all your, how I must say, your own physical or in a spiritual attribute. You rely on God. Total reliance on the Word of God. Sisters and brothers, being the last day of the novena today, I want to talk about Padre Pio and the mother, our blessed mother, and which Padre Pio, we may say, he, call, she, he calls Our Lady the Mother of Divine Grace. You know, Padre Pio's filial devotion to and love Our Lady knew no bounds. It was through his prayer and this particular devotion to her that he received so many graces for others. Behind all the marvelous gifts of Padre Pio, his extraordinary guidance of soul, his bilocation, his gift of prophecy and healing, was in a way proper or coming from Our Lady, who cherished him as a mother would a child. And what is the secret of Padre Pio in his devotion to the Blessed Mother? And this is one something very important I want to tell you. He recited many rosaries a day inside the friary or the convent. One of his brothers caught up with him and asked him, Padre, how many rosaries do you say each day? Ilang rosario ang iyong ginagawa o dinagdadasal every day? And Padre Pio answered, maybe about 40. And the brother asked him, 40 by 50 Hail Marys is 2,000 Hail Marys. And Padre Pio was in the way surprised. What is the rosary made only of five decades? He said, no. A complete rosary consisted of 15 decades of Hail Mary and 15 Our Fathers. Therefore, 6,000 Hail Marys and 600 Our Fathers. He once said to one of his spiritual children, Always hold the weapon of Mary tight in your hands. He said, 
always have a rosary in your pocket, in your hand. That is the best weapon for all that you can do against the devil. Always hold the weapon of Mary tight in your hand. It will bring you victory over your enemies. Sisters and brothers, I would like to ask you whether you are bringing your rosary every day, everywhere. Barring nasa pocket or sa bag. But usually the rosary according to Padre Pio, you must hold it tightly. The weapon of Mary tight in your hand, sabi niya. It will bring you victory over your enemies. And a brother asked, What is this weapon? It is on my capuchin habit. And the brother said, But I do not see any weapon. I see only your beads. And Padre Pio said, And is that a weapon? Asked Padre Pio. So sisters and brothers, final day of Padre Pio of the Domena, a great advice, a final advice to all of us. Carry your rosary in your pocket, in your bag, hold tightly in your hand at the rosary, and you will be protected. Sisters and brothers, that is why Padre Pio would say, that he prayed the rosary 40 times a day. But the rosary which is complete, that is, the 15 decades of rosary, 40 of that. Sisters and brothers, when you are free, especially during the pandemic, the lockdown, pray the rosary. I would like to share with you what happened to me in my lockdown. During those days, dark days of lockdown, when our friary, our convent, was in lockdown, praying the rosary was the most beautiful work I have done. Pray the rosary many times a day. It seems as if you are going through a kind of meditation, reflection, contemplation. And that is why today I want to tell you, always pray the rosary. Always have the rosary in your bag, in your pocket. Hold tight in your hand. Padre Pio would be in a way happy to see you with your rosary being held in your hand and your bag. That is the best weapon that you can have. The rosary of the Blessed Mother. Amen. That's all strength. God the Father has invited us to be ministers to spread the good news of salvation to all. Let us ask God to make us credible witnesses. And we pray, Lord, empower us to be your witnesses. Lord, empower us to be your witnesses. That the church may continue to call and send missionaries to preach the good news to all nations and places. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord empower, empower us, us to be your witnesses. That Christians may be committed in proclaiming God's word to unbelieving and unwelcoming places. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord empower, empower us to be your witnesses. That many people may be attracted to the Christian faith through our credible witness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord empower, empower us to be your witnesses. That the sick and those who find life burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord empower, empower us, us to, to be your, your witnesses. witnesses. That the dead may enjoy everlasting peace 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord empower, empower us to, to be your witnesses. In the silence of our hearts, we manifest our own personal intention. Lord God, you have chosen us in Christ to proclaim your love. Make us true messengers of your word through our witness of life. We ask this through Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. Please rise. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs for these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is surely right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race. So also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, and the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, and in this joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy o Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, may we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, our next our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Francis and Claire, Saint Padre Pio, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. My spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the love of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present 
in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please rise for the prayer after communion. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those who renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Lord Jesus, who went about doing good and healing all, we ask you to bless all your friends who are sick. Through the intercession of St. Pio Pietralcina, may you give them strength and body, courage and spirit, and patience with pain. Let them recover their health, so that restored to the Christian community, they may joyfully praise your name, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.